I'm starting this build by cutting the sides, the top, the bottom, and a shelf out of three quarter inch plywood. There's a link below with the cut list, tools, and supplies used. Next, I added pocket holes to the identical top, bottom, and shelf pieces. Then I glued and screwed them together, trying to make everything square. To get the shelf lined up, I pulled out a scrap and made a couple 5 inch spacers. Here I'm using half inch plywood to cut pieces for the drawer, which is going to be four and a half inches tall. Next I mapped out where to drill a three quarter inch hole for a finger draw pull. To avoid math, I did a little trick here. Instead of finding the middle of six and I think it was three eighth inches, I angled the square to show seven inches from one side of the board to the other, then marked the middle at three and a half inches, half of seven. Super easy to do. And I'm just realizing not so easy to explain. To avoid blowout from drilling, which is very common drilling in plywood, I used a backer board and it uh, made a very fine hole. I then whipped out a router with a chamfer bit to soften up that finger pull. Just use glue and clamps to put these drawer sides together, making sure it was all squared up. For the drawer bottom, I used quarter inch plywood attached it with glue and brad nails, then used a chamfer bit to give it a more polished look. Here I'm cutting a half inch plywood for the front hinge door in the back. No scraps left big enough for this, so I had to cut into a new sheet. Using a 12 inch piano hinge for the door, here I'm lining it up and attaching after pre-drilling. Attaching a magnet to keep the door closed. I then attached the back plywood with glue and brad nails. I cut the back and front pieces a little big, so I popped in a flush trim router bit to make them perfect. Totally unnecessary, but I decided to use the chamfer bit on the back panel too. Next, I sanded it all down. I got a little too aggressive here with the sanding and I mangled up some of the edges. So be careful with the sanding with the edges of plywood. Next, I installed the doorknob and attached a cleat onto the back with wood glue, brad nails, then decided to use one inch screws after pre-drilling and countersinking. My son, oblivious to the blockbuster performance happening right in front of him. After sanding it all down with 220 grit, I wiped it all down. 
Then took off the knob and taped all the other hardware and applied three coats of lacquer.